For me, I have the chance to be able to experience some real Mexican tacos made in Mexico. Unfortunately, not everybody gets to experience that, but you know what? Many across the world try to mimic that experience all over the place. Now, let me tell you, I live about 45 minutes away from Mexico and I have access to these tacos whenever I want. So today, I'm gonna be bringing that experience to you and we're gonna be cooking this up on my Blackstone Griddle. So no further ado, let's get into some carne asada tacos and I'll show you how to make it. Now when it comes to making carne asada tacos, I have a really, really great recipe to marinate the meat with. It, it comes out delicious, it's fantastic every single time. And when you eat these tacos, it just blows your mind. But there's days, days just like this that I don't have the time you know, to marinate everything, let it sit, and then get a, a meal out. So for today, we're gonna be using Chef Merito's steak seasoning. This stuff is really delicious, it has a good flavor, and it goes pretty much on anything. So I basically just take that meat, squeeze a lemon or a lime, and give it a good seasoning. This stuff really goes a long way, and it tastes fantastic on tacos. So let's just go ahead and lay down just a little bit of oil. All right, so we got some oil laid down. I only put it on halfway because I'm gonna be cooking the meat on this side. I'm gonna leave this side just dry with just with the, the oil that I left to season it on my last cook. Uh, I have this side on low. I have this side on medium high. So this side's gonna cook my meat. I'm gonna be heating up my tortillas and everything on this side. All right, so let's go ahead and pour in our, our meat. Now this meat, I did chop beforehand because it's gonna be easier to cook on the flat top. Now you wanna give it a little bit of love and some olive oil right on top. This part is very, very fast. I'm talking about a couple minutes, a couple flips here and there, and you got some meat ready for some carne asada tacos. All I can say is just standing in front of this meat cooking, I smell everything. It smells delicious, and I just really can't wait to make a taco out of it. You see all this juice right here? That is the flavor. Like, that is the difference between grilling and cooking on a flat top. This right here holds so much flavor. You wanna make sure you get all that inside your meat. So even when I take this out, I am going to put it with all the juices in there. Okay, for a special little bonus, I still have some of those beef juices on the griddle, so I'm gonna be throwing some green onions. This right here is a perfect bonus for some awesome tacos. Add a little bit of olive oil there. So our onions are done. I'm gonna clean up the grill a little bit. I'm gonna heat up some tortillas and we're gonna assemble our tacos. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and lay down some tortillas. Let these things heat up. Go and give our tortillas a flip. Oh yeah, love these tortillas. Okay, once you start seeing your tortillas bubble like that, you wanna go ahead and just take them off the grill. Okay, 
And you wanna go ahead and put it with some nice, chunky, creamy guacamole. Then you wanna go ahead and, and top it with some uh, fresh cabbage. The cabbage adds a perfect crunch. You know, these are, it's a fresh ingredient. It really, it really plays a role in these tacos. You wanna go ahead and top with just a little bit of onion, a little bit of cilantro. Okay, now you wanna go ahead and top it with some fresh salsa. Don't be skimpy on that salsa either. We're not done yet either. For the side, side snacks, we're gonna add some fresh added radishes there and that grilled onion right there. And we're gonna go ahead and garnish this with some lime right here on the side. Each one gets a lime. There you have it, some authentic Mexican carne asada tacos. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that we can see all my future videos and recipes just like this one. And if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. I'll get to them later. And while you're at it, smash that like button. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.